Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, the video that I have for you guys today, we're going to go over uh, something that's been lingering since the last update. All right, since Giants put out the 1.9.1 update, uh, a few things broke. Uh, well, maybe not necessarily broke, but maybe things weren't updated in the fashion they needed to be. And it created problems for some people. OK, uh, and the problems being you had problems with the terrain not rendering correctly inside of the Giants editor. OK, uh, now generally the easy fix for this uh, was to head on over to uh, the Giants developer network and download the new version of Giants Editor being version 9.0.4, and that should have fixed everything for most everybody. All right, so for some people, it did not. All right, it fixed some things, but not others. Uh, I even personally ran into this myself on one map. All right, so in the case where it did not fix things, okay, you're looking at something like we have here. It looks like a big giant checkerboard there where things just are definitely not rendering correctly. All right, so in this case, if you have something that looks like this, all right, uh, it's your terrain shader is not working at all. It's not it's not doing anything that it should be doing. OK, uh, now the way to get around this or maybe not well, not working at all, but it's it's definitely not working properly. Let's put it that way. Um, the way to get around this now, if you're having this type of issue, all right, head over to your your uh, your project folders. OK your mod map and you want to look inside of maps right so that's where i'm at right now and if you see a folder called shaders inside of there you would typically have some sort of shader hopefully terrain shader is inside of there all right that needs to be updated all right so what you would do from there is head over to the base game folders all right so you want to head over to the farming simulator 22 base game folder go to data go down to the shaders folder all right. And look for that same terrain shader dot XML and copy that over to your shaders folder. All right. And then restart everything. And it should be OK, but that may not be the case. So the way to verify this. All right. Is go to this map dot I 3D. Open that up inside of your text editor. Um, I'm going to use sublime text in this case. So open that up inside of there. All right. And you want to do go control F. Right. And, and do a search. You want to find. And you're going to type in terrain shader, all one word. Uh, just type that in. And when you find this line right here, this shaders, you can see what I have, the shaders forward slash terrain shader. All right. That's what you're going to pay attention to is, is that file path. Where is that pointing to? All right. Is that pointing to that custom shaders folder that we had just seen? Or is it somewhere else in your project? All right. So if you didn't do anything personally, like if you didn't set this up and you don't know why you have a custom shaders uh, folder, <clears throat> or you didn't do any kind of custom shit or work yourself that you really don't know anything about it. Uh, it's probably a safe bet that you can go ahead and change that. And you want to change that to dollar sign data forward slash shaders, forward slash terrain shader. All right. And that file path is pointing towards uh, the location that we just seen on the giant space game. All right. So once you have that changed over, just, you know, control S to save it back into your project, reload. Now, it'll, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, it may take a minute or two to reload, depending on the size of your project. All right. But you'll you'll quickly see everything come back to life once everything reloads. And that generally is the case. Now, what happens there a lot is in, in my case, the one map that I had uh, that was not long after FS 22 had came out. And I was in a hurry and to like, not patient at all. Uh, so I downloaded a blank map from the Internet. And as seems to be the case, mo more often than not, is people don't really know what's going on. Uh, they know just enough to be dangerous and they put out these blank maps that they have issues. Right. And that was the case here that somehow it got overlooked that there was either a custom shader or for whatever reason, you know, that file path got messed up. All right. So we're reloaded now and you can see that everything is back to normal, just the way that you would expect it. All right. So like I said, if you're still having that problem, this seems to be like a fair number of you guys are still experiencing that issue. Uh, so that is the fix. So instead of answering a thousand emails <laughs> explaining how to fix that, that's the fix. All right. So, but, you know, if you need to go back, rewatch the video once or twice and 
you know, you'll get it right. So that is definitely, definitely to fix. If you're seeing that giant checkerboard. So hopefully after this and no more email saying, I still see that checkerboard, because if you do go back and rewatch the video, <clears throat> there is still a problem with your shader location. All righty. So I'm going to leave it at that. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.